the Glazers. How much Manchester United owners paid for club and why fans are protesting against them. Manchester United fan opposition to the Glazer family's ownership is nothing new. But the level of supporter anger has risen significantly in the last 12 months. Supporters group the 1958 have led several protests, both before matches and from inside Old Trafford, in a bid to force the American owners of the club to sell their shares and move on. United supporters have grown frustrated with a lack of boardroom direction within the running of the Premier League giants in an era dominated by rivals Manchester City and Liverpool. Fans have raged against a lack of investment in redeveloping Old Trafford, wasting money on poor transfer decisions and not creating a structure for coaches to thrive in, all with the Glazers continuing to attach debt to the club based on their original loan to buy it. The Glazer-backed attempt to sign United up to the controversial European Super League project in 2021 triggered mass protests outside Old Trafford, leading to a postponement of a Premier League tie with Liverpool as fans signalled that a final straw had been broken. In November 2022, the family said they were seeking strategic alternatives at the club, which included the possibility of an outright sale. After more than a year of uncertainty, it was announced on December 24, 2023 that British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe would be buying 25% of the club's shares and take control of sporting operations. His company, Ineos, is committed to a total spend of nearly $2 billion, yet the Glazers will retain the majority ownership they have held since 2005. Who are the Glazers? Avram, Joel Others the Glazer family ownership of United is built from Malcolm Glazer's original purchase of the club in 2005. U.S. businessman Glazer gradually built up his investment stake in United from 2003, buying out previous majority shareholders J.P. McManus and John Magner, before rapidly acquiring a majority stake and eventually launching a full buyout via investment company Red Football. However, due to Glazer's poor health from 2006 onwards, his sons Joel and Avram took on the majority of the day-to-day -day running of United, with the pair now co-chairman at Old Trafford. Following the senior Glazer's death in 2014, his remaining 90% controlling stake in United was shared equally between Joel, Avram and his four other children, Kevin, Brian, Darcy and Edward, who all hold director roles. How much did the Glazers buy Manchester United for? Glazer's initial outlay in buying up United shares from 2003 to 2005 is unconfirmed, but the eventual figure to purchase the club is reported to be in the region of £800 million $1.04 billion. However, the structure and financing of the purchase has caused perpetual controversy for the Glazers and United fans. The majority of the capital used to buy United was raised by loans, with Glazer balancing multi-million pound borrowing against United's assets and their projected profitability. This has opened up a never-ending game of cat and mouse between the Glazers and their lending banks and investors. With interest payments continuing and United unable to bring themselves back into positive equity. Figures regarding exactly how much debt the Glazers have levered on United and how much it has increased, very notably, with estimates ranging from £474 million $619 million to £520 million $679 million, plus annual interest payments of £65 million $84 million. How much have the Glazers spent on Man United transfers? Since the start of the 2005-2006 Premier League season, the Glazer family have overseen a spend of around £1.5 billion, $2.06 billion in transfers at Old Trafford. Spread across 17 seasons, that averages at around £92 million, $120 million per campaign, with the £50 million, $68 million mark broken eight times, a figure only beaten by rivals Manchester City in Premier League history. Paul Pogba's £94.5 million pounds $123 million return from Juventus in 2016 remains their biggest transfer and the Frenchman's free transfer in 2022 was symbolic of the club's prolific mismanagement. How many trophies have Man United won under the Glazers? 
With Sir Alex Ferguson still at the helm, United continued to be a major Premier League force, with five titles in eight seasons and a memorable Champions League win in 2008. Why do Man United fans dislike the Glazers? United fan distaste for the Glazers dates back to their original takeover with supporter groups publicly voicing their disagreement over the deal. Some fans tried to block the sale, similar to their revolt against Rupert Murdoch's bid in the early 90s, with Phoenix groups attempting to buy smaller blocks of shares to frustrate the Glazers. The eventual sale caused a split within United fans, with those completely opposed to it, forming the breakaway club of FC United of Manchester in the non-league pyramid, as concerns of debt association persisted. Issues over saddling debt onto United is the primary concern for fans with United virtually debt-free prior to the arrival of the Glazers. Some sections of fans are unhappy at a perceived detachment of the Glazers from the practicalities of running a Premier League club. The attempted European Super League move has been viewed as a deal-breaker by the majority of supporters however, with the ownership's disregard for fans pushing thousands of them to protest. Have there been other protests against the Glazers? Protests over the Glazers have been ever-present across the last two decades stretching from the creation of FC United in 2005 and the Love United Hate Glazer banners at Old Trafford through the fan-backed Red Knights in 2010 who wanted to reduce the club debt, and they continue to the present day. In 2018-19 fans charted planes to fly a Glazers Out banner over Old Trafford and away grounds, with the emerging fan groups continuing the message of spiraling debts being the main concern. Not on-pitch performances The 2021 storming of Old Trafford made headlines across the globe, as United fans reignited their anger alongside millions of other fans opposed to their own club's involvement in the Super League project. What other sports teams do the Glazers own? Alongside United, the Glazers have a long-standing ownership of NFL team Tampa Bay Buccaneers, following Malcolm Glazer's original purchase in 1995. Glazer bought the club for an NFL franchise record fee of $192 million before passing control over to Son Brian in the early 2000s, Thanks for your watching, don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.